Oh, I think I, I will play this year. So really? that's all I have to say. Yes, sir. Can you say why you feel uh, that confident? We just it? have a good feeling about it. So I will play this year. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I've heard you. Uh, I've never seen you Is play. It? But I've heard uh, that Coach Cannell uh, said you were like Anthony Davis. Uh, I, I think I'm pretty far away from that. For As of <laughs> right now, i got a lot of work to do. I need to learn how to run the floor better, be more aggressive. Uh, you know, Anthony's timing on the blocks was, it was crazy, so I still had to have a lot to work on and really try to be my own person. So. Well, how would you describe your game? Uh, I'm very versatile uh, offensively, uh, on defense too. So, uh, you know, I, I can run the floor, which I, I still need to do a lot better. Uh, you know, I got a lot, a lot, a lot of things to work on. So. Uh, yeah, I've heard it said that you, you're you kind of a big guy that has guard skills, or you yes, have the guard skills, yes, and now you've got the bigger body, the taller body. Yes, how, how did that come about? I mean, were you a little guy at some point? Uh, I think I was always tall for my age, but uh, because of all the work I've done uh, with uh, past trainers and, you know, my coach at my high school coach, my first high school coach, Tippett, really did a good job at teaching me the fundamentals of the game, uh, teaching me how to play the game the right way. So uh, we all, I always been working on versatility, always have. Uh, he had me on, out on the perimeter and inside, so always been able to do a little bit of both. So. That, that, re, that sounds a lot like uh, Carl Anthony Towns, yes, sir. the way he was described. Yes, sir. Uh, and can t did you watch him at all? I mean, it, it, Last year? Yeah. I can take you. I watched him almost every game because by the time the season started, I was already committed, so, uh, and I knew him from, uh, I knew him in high school, so uh, I got to watch him and see how much better he guys the year went along. So that was pretty fun to watch. Yeah, he started out as a, a shooting perimeter shots, yes, facing sir. the basket and three pointers. Yes, sir. And Kentucky wanted him around the basket, a yes, low sir. post guy. What sense do you have of what they want from you? you know uh, I mean? uh, Coach Cal definitely, definitely wants me to be more aggressive down there. Uh, you know, run the floor better, block more shots, bo be more vocal as a leader, and being more of a defensive presence than I am. So uh, just keep, you know, getting getting better at that and getting better in the low post. So uh, really, just here they, they make us work on everything for the big guys. So that's one thing I like. He preaches about versatility. So really on everything. Three point range. I mean, uh, can you I'm shoot not, the three? Uh, I can shoot a little bit, but I still need to work on that. <laughs> still need to work on that. So you're not gonna jack up. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. We'll wait and see. <laughs> uh, now tell me, did, didn't you uh, uh, your junior year have a stress fracture? I had a stress fracture in my lower back. So how did you my get L5. That oh, it's just overdoing things and not resting properly, not recovering the way I was supposed to. Uh, Really, just over overdoing it, you know. I like to work hard, and I thought that was the. What were I wasn't really smart. Exactly? Oh, lifting weights and uh, playing basketball two times a day while I was lifting and doing skills and con uh, conditioning. So it was just I was constantly on the move. What motivated you to, you uh, know, to do that? Much? I wanted to. I just wanted to get better. You know, I love basketball. I love what I do. So uh, I just wanted to get better. And your senior year. Didn't you? You were ruled ineligible yes, sir. or whatever yes, sir. because of the transfer. Yes, sir. So how much did it set you back to that was two years that yes, sir. you were limited? Uh, I still played AAU that summer. Uh, still played uh, against very good competition uh, Competition with uh, my team, uh, OID Prep. Uh, we played the number one team in the country. We played a bunch of other prep teams that were pretty good. So I, I, I still think I got better because as a result, it really prepared me for the All-Star Circuit, where, where I did pretty well. So Now tell me the story, I know this is old for you, you've probably told it, I don't know how many times, about the earthquake in yes, Haiti sir. and how that affected your family. Yes, sir. Uh, it was, uh, you know, it was a pretty scary moment, uh, you know, changed our lives forever. Uh, you know, I, I believe that God used that uh, experience to bring me here to the stage to make me the person that I am today. You know, as a result of it, I'm uh, very thankful for life, and I understood that life can be taken away from me at any moment. Were so, you trapped in uh, that? I was trapped for about three hours, uh, couldn't walk for a little bit after that. Uh, you know, what was it like being trapped? It was crazy, it was scary. Uh, I didn't know what to think about, you know, finally we just decided to pray, and it, my dad was on the outside, thankfully. Found Communicating two, with yeah, you? Yeah, he did. Uh, 
found two people to help him get us out. Uh, so Who was trapped besides uh, you? Me, my mom, and my little brother. So. Was Were you very, like uh, injured? I was, uh, I was, you know, I couldn't walk for a little while because I was stuck in the same position for so long. So uh, that was really the main thing.